the tools that are not ready or willing to speak up, Rafa is empowered them and also strengthening the capacity to be able to out and speak against the predicaments that they are going through. The only reason why we have such set of volunteers coming on board to be trained and to also serve as an advocate that will go out there, enter the communities, empower other women, empower their colleagues to be able to come out and speak up against violence against women and children. All right. About speaking out, if you say something, say it. If you know something, don't make worry. We have some of our grandchildren, grandpa grandchildren today, because we're speaking out. And I have to be now, Rafa has done a lot and done so many lives in fact, some of us, some of them are here today with their babies, yes. holding their babies, instead of giving the babies, the babies are died today with Anka Dad. Yes, ma'am. I know we are, I know I understand that we are, but the tenacity with which some of you hope I can feel. Especially when my mom was speaking, when our father said I was speaking, I didn't know a lot of what they are saying. I did not understand. But I could see that these are people who have really been very effective in protecting violence against women and girls. I also want us to understand that our sisters and brothers from six states are in the house. Here in our donor population, the whole here in our people from Niger State, that's our state of nature, and those are all that support her. This is our mommy from Ministry of Men and Men who was up to the audience today. All our daddies in the legal department from Rafa, they are all here. I don't see they are here. Our mama Kaka is here. When she was here, she said, This is years of advocacy. Even though I did not understand most of what she said, but I could feel her passion. Thank you very much for all your work of which we will consider. This as our sisters from if you are from Ogilvy, those are our sisters from stand up for the position. Let me tell you about it. From Ogilvy, please stand up. Please give me a round of applause. From Nasara, please stand up. They are coordinators and those that support them in the state. Maybe state From that office, please stand up. Our family that we are doing is also Let me give you a round of applause. I could say that I don't mention. Oh, father. Ah, how do you know that? Because I'm very proud that we are state. Okay, thank you. And thank you, our host, for being a very good host in the last week. Okay, something. We were talking on social accountability mechanisms. Rafa is the last auntie to my, she's our coordinator from Plato. Let me use class to bring her up. I always try to use Plato as my analogy when I'm doing it. If you say, well, I cannot carry this medicine at least, he will ask me in my language, so she will Did this thing happen to you before? Did you use this medicine and it work for you? So if you use it, let me use it. If you put it in the water, he will feel that it's me. I like to use. I like to use. Please sit down. Sit down with me. I like to use people that have had lived experiences. When they have that was why I said they should bring our dear guy father here. Because I know he's one of the pictures we see here today. He has been a champion in Plato State of women of resilience. What do we mean by women of resilience? We have cartoon story on, on the video sheets here, and we also have a lot of things that we'll be talking to. But I will bring her in doing that in collaboration with uh, my sister here. Two years back, this is my me to sit down. Thank you. Two years back, the fourth foundation, based on the 14 year IFL that MacArthur Foundation 
had given rappers a grant to walk in the northwest on Islamic family law. Based on that success story of the 14 year IFL, Islamic family law, the short form is IFL. The post foundation came and did for rappers. You know, I said yesterday, not every time that you solicit for projects, there are times for that works for you. So the first foundation came to Rapper last two years, and we put up a, a program called Violence Against Women and Girls towards the elimination. The fourth place in our school is Plato, the Gawa, Katsina, and the FC. Those are our first four Odea states. The program went on for two years. But when the program was about closing, if I were at the NCE, the NCE is no constitution. We couldn't finish on time. I think that was during COVID period. So COVID did not allow us to finish on the actual time. So they gave us three more months for no cost extension. Within that no cost extension, we talk of how can we do two years work in these places that not live an accountability mechanism group? Then the woman of residence was battered. Who are the women of residence? Women of residence are a group of women who support survivors of violence against women and girls. To speak up on their experiences, I hear a lot of support here. And I know that these are our people are in the spirit. Because if you need to you, and you keep it to yourself, so many things are happening now. You just hear that somebody died. But you don't know maybe the person has been walking up things and it has affected the person's health. Some people will be eating and will still be looking lean. Maybe they are bothered and they have no one to share with. Why do survivors, why are they afraid of sharing? Maybe because they are seeing somebody in their community that shared and is now stigmatized. What do I mean by stigmatized? Everybody now set that person aside. No man can come for her again in that uh, community and say they want to marry her. Why? Maybe because the girl was raped when she was young and she decided with her parents to speak up. So why is your wife going to want to speak up? Who are the people that are responsible? You and I. In some cases, in the course of this war, we are seeing even traditional leaders telling police that it is a family matter. Let's not go to court. I don't know what happened in Nigeria. We are seeing that. In some cases, it is not even the traditional leader, nor the cultural leader. It is the parents. Because why? They don't want that child to be stigmatized within that community. So these are reasons why some people deal with their problems or fall sick with their problems, or maybe they are shared confidently with some people, and when they had it, they were not happy. So at the end of the day, most of the time when we are talking like this, we try to protect the image of the survivors. There are best practices and international best practices protocols that have been adopted in various places. So that you are survival centric. Some of us thank God for social media. Some of us, because we want our father to know we are working. Sensitive stories, sensitive issues, you go and put on the social media. You may not show that person's face, but if there are people within that community, where that can happen? We are only looking at that story, they know who you are looking at. Just like some men of God, you go to them personally, you tell your story. Before you know it, you are hearing it on the streets. Those who know you well with that issue, 
We know it's your matter that is being disposed. Name is not mentioned. But that person has been abused again. We call it a re abuse of the abused. So people don't keep quiet because they want to die with the problem. All of us in some capacity may have been responsible. So these are things we need to look at. So Robert decided we have done a lot of cases. The Amina cases, the present cases, a lot of the Italian, if I ask for Nigeria, they will tell you a lot of cases they have done, even in the last few months. However, we know that there are some of these cases that even after going to court separately, nothing comes out of it. True or false, Father Kabu? Father Kabu? Number one, even if your wife can tell you I don't believe it, will you force her? Some of them don't have the transport money to keep coming to courts. They are looking for money to eat. He's already abused. Some of them, because of the fear of stigma. And you know how we used to say, later you see them and their husband, they are what do you call that? Ashebi. This is also, and you are the one trying like to make sure they are back in the center. And they are supposed to tell you that I don't want this marriage. That's why Rafa is very careful. We don't dissolve marriages. We hear from you, the woman. We have to invite the husband. We must hear from him. So we are more or less not dissolving. We only go to court in strategic cases. That is the only litigation we do as strategy. That means after having sought every type of solution, that means like we did in that capital. So rather thought, how can we help women within community? So within the vogue space, within the women of residence space that we are doing today, we do not want to mention courts because that's not part of what we talk of when we put this together. How can we work with leaders of faith and culture and other strategic community leaders of same uh, justice for the abused. Holding perpetrators in their own way accountable. That is why this project was started. So, unlike what we did yesterday, day before yesterday, talking about security agencies, talking about police, I mean, and just the Ministry of Justice, we are going to be working strategically with the leaders of faith and culture on the establishment of women of the students. Because these are community solutions to the issues of violence against women and men. Our brother from GNI Plateau says something. He mentioned value, our value system. In the past, when they say your pastor is calling you, you are already messing up your body. Because you don't know. Surely some of us that went to very strong deeper life, and I started from deeper life then. If they say they are calling you, you are already thinking, what did I do? There is fear. I'm not talking about fear as a fear. But at least there is this trembling, only trembling that you want for your right at all times. I have seen professors in the faith carrying boxes and bag of beans on their head. People bring themselves into nothing before their pastors. And I know it's like that in the faith. When we are having the treat, we started from the Bible. All those UI professors, name them, associate professors. They will carry beans on their head in the retreat. Nobody see them. That is the kind of reverence, let me not use the word fear, that we have for our spiritual leaders. In the Islamic faith, too, I'm not a Muslim. But I remember the first two I ever attended.
attended is what you call what do you call that thing that children are supposed to? Islamia. The first thing in my life. That's why right today I can complete the fat here beautifully. Yeah. If I say now, I will to be the land. It's not shed at all in the right. Already happened. 
But can we even be a voice to ensure that it does not happen? Why we should not keep trying when it happens in our communities? Thank you. That is like the background. What do we do? What do they do? Number one, they identify and respond to violent against women and girls cases in the communities by pushing reported cases and using the response protocols co-created by the community stakeholders and the projects. We already have those protocols. So I think what we will do is just share with the states on customizing it and calling it United States uh, documents for the women of resilience. Do we even have any women of resilience that was invited here today? Where are they? This can you get up? You are the one we are establishing. And nothing stops one from being a volunteer and also women of resilience, please. Because the rest of them are survivors and you already know. Thank you. And if I'm a survivor, I will be able to tell the story better than anybody. You can sit down. You can sit down. So you are the you are the one we are trying to establish. And I think uh, I heard the day say you should come with. Why are you call any number? Okay. No problem, you can take your time. They visit families to increase awareness. Strengthen trust and provide access to survivors who may not be opportune to seek and obtain over justice. Another thing is, when they know that every case is taken to Maybe uh, one uh, imam or one uh, alas, they might now be saying, I must not see my wife there. Do they know that the women of the students already use that place to attend the cases? The other guy is just come to the house, maybe he comes there for another reason, and so such things going on. And then, if anything happens, I carry my daughter to that palace. Here we are saying that women of residents also have access to visit families so that even the husband who has misunderstood our purpose, we want him to also understand. We are not, if, if also the woman is the problem, we don't, not to stop a man from coming to us and reporting that woman. Yeah. Not to stop a man. Yes. So that at least we can also be fair. It is not about uh, being one sided. And these people will be trained. We also monitor and document violence against women in the schools and interventions and community based commitments made by faith and cultural leaders. We also share step down of work knowledge. Anything we train them, anything you train them, whether virtually or physically, they also share it within their smaller groups. Let's give an example. If you have 10 women of residents, one of them might belong to a faith that the other one does not belong One of them might be working in a space that the other one is not working. One of them might have relations that the other one does not have. So in their own smaller communities, they keep on being the voice of protecting violence against women and girls. So far, Rafa has 87 women of resilience in federal capital territory. In Jigawa, we have 103. In Katsina, Rafa has five women of resilience. And in uh, Plato, Rafa has up to six women of resilience. As you can see, these are our real champions. The leaders of faith 
and coach and culture are referred to as male champions. And that's a picture of them there. We have 37 of them in Jigawa State. We have 25 in Jigawa State. So it means that this is just the start in Niger State. Very soon we will have your grant and it will be included here. We have in Katsina 45, I mean 49, and in SCT we have 45. Through the two years of engagement of the bold projects, like I said, we have been able across the four states and the two that was added during International Women Day and also last year, uh, 16 days of uh, activism. We added Enugu and we added Adamawa State today. So now there are six. So in all of these six locations, we have 176 male champions. We have 321 women of the teams. So you can see it's a network that built beyond your states. Now that I have said, when Niger uh, states have their own uh, data, when other states that have this data now are also increasing, you know that it will be increasing. So you have become a national community. This was established by Rapa. As a mechanism, to ensure that women within communities, women who will say, Yes, I'm abused, but I don't want to go to police. Yes, I'm abused, but I don't want to take my matter to court. Mm -hmm. They will also have a mechanism that can attend to them. A round of applause for Rafa. <laughs> I will stop here, and uh, when the light comes back, my sister here will continue. Thank you for this opportunity to share our experience. In Plato State. Um, what you can see here, the number of male champions and then the women of resilience, these are only registered members. But then in the communities, because of the effectiveness of what the women of resilience are doing, we have one official women of resilience and male champions. We find people in the communities doing it, you know, reporting, being part of it without even the forms we have here. So I think that is a plus for, for Rapa. We can see um, in Plato case, uh, from this report, we have more, more um, spaces. The one in Bukuru is a case study because the chief of the traditional owner of Yale, located around Bukuru, has turned his partners into self space. And then they are the first officially to have a community by law on GDV and other issues that affect the community. I think Rafa is speaking out as a model. In workers' local government, you cannot be focused. The women, the women are hard on the potentials you see in Niger, coming from Plateau. Over 80% is coming from focus. And more than half is cultivated by women. They have the big house, they have the farms. But when there's an issue of inheritance, or if there's any dispute, uh, uh, domestic dispute, and she goes out and there is a need for divorce, she only goes out to watch this one half. So the chief then sat down with the district heads and the law was established. If the woman is going out, she goes out with everything that she has brought into the market. So that has reduced it. But we're taking it forward to see that that law is gazetted so that generation after generation can make reference to it. So I'm working on that. And also the dark of injury. Such cases to us on the plateau. This space to us is not just a building. It's a phone call away. It's simply a phone call away. And because of the women of resilience and then the, the awareness created, like I said, everybody is, everybody that has a mind reports. So for us in Plato, and I'm sure in other states, and I'm happy that speaking up, 
You can make it a household, a household issue. Also, in the sense that everybody responds to it. When we see it as human rights, we treat it that way. So, when we see it as the rights of women, then we will not, we will not, take, we will not take part in it. So, the first message, in fighting our message of the party, we first see the rights of women as human rights. We pick it from that end and we'll be successful to a level. Although, like I said, there are still some gaps, and we're still going to work on it. So, in Tazuna and the Dev City, um, that's what they have. But how do we know? How do we know? Getting people support, we have forms, and then training. I'm sure Nigeria will go through that. But again, we monitor that we always see marketing of a message is very important. We don't condemn. We told our members not to condemn. And we don't call for divorce. We mediate. And we just don't, we do not just get the cases. We also, where there are issues where we can mediate. That is done. And it's very effective because of our collaboration with other uh, partners like Fia and others and um, the group uh, that also work on psychology, we also work with those people. So that because most cases that go to court and go, especially when there are children involved, we don't really advise court issues. We need yes, because no matter what you do, the children will always be in the middle and they end up suffering. But where we can, we also preach if a life is threatened, step aside. Step aside. But we have some religious leaders that say, no, 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 no. I'll bring the end there. But when you say rubber, when I don't say rubber, when I tell the light, they're very happy. They're very happy. We give this analogy of a chicken. Our chicken we give this analogy of a chicken. I always give, there was this chicken and I rare cocoa chicken in my mouth. And you know the snakes like eggs. We are just going to we had the chicken jump. And you know that this chicken, when we came out, we found a very big snake on the eggs of the chicken. The chicken did not eat the eggs. But then, could there have been the possibility that that snake would have killed the chicken? And then, when the chicken is killed, what happens to the eggs? You see why we say step aside? Because why you step aside? Because we are going to have, these are issues we have with the battle, and I think I'm here to share experience. When you don't step aside, with very three women, personally, three women, because children go, and the parents say, child Because you had me to 
You heard me talk. Go to the police. So as women of Brazil, you are case managers. You must be able to handle that. So we have a lot of that to do. That's a good one. Thank you, ma'am. Let's give her a round of applause. I'm sure when they are ready for the train, we can continue learning and sharing. But the thing is that, please, our religious leaders, although you've lost peace, I would say comparatively, because I have a strict one and a super strict job. And my dad said, Mr. Steve, the seller of the first report. And when we did that, it was only strict. It was that it was only strict. Today I look at it and I look at it. Because I cannot send that because only look at that. My house was just open. And our parents knew. There was this this harmonious feeling. Yes. You know, but today I share what she said because I, I was with it. Because in those days on that street, I am not one. You can put one and hold your man and take him home and go to the But what do you have to do? I want you to run this school just like opposite. I think the rest of us are just like that. We come together. I've been going right on the alone. Not only I've been going right on the alone. I've been going right on the alone. I've been going right on the alone.